Okay, so I'm making this video for both students and maybe teachers as well. I've been hearing a lot of issues with joining on Zoom and there's a couple of pitfalls that I think students are making that at least my students watched my two videos and had those issues resolved. So the first thing is cell phone users, although I do not recommend it, if you do use your cell phone, make sure you go into your settings and your profile is linked to your LAUSD account. I had the same issue. I tried to join on with Zoom, was getting an error message, and looked at my profile, saw that it was connected to my personal Gmail and not my LAUSD account. So if you're on your cell phone, go to your profile, make sure it's linked. Now when it comes to the Zoom classes from a browser or a laptop, another pitfall is I'm seeing pictures too. You guys are not using the LAUSD Zoom. You're just going to normal Zoom. What I mean by that is they're two separate platforms. So how I do it, I go straight to Google and I Google LAUSD Zoom, just like that. It pops up right up front, LAUSD.Zoom.US. It's a, again, it's a completely different platform. You click that, sign in here. It just gives you these three options. You sign in with your LAUSD account. And then your pro, it should pop up something like this. I have all these meetings, so these are my meetings. But if you go to profile, it should hop up and show you your profile. Now, from there, this is, to me, the easiest way to join a meeting. But let's go back. So with my class, I actually embed my link. And I give them a copy of exactly, or you, the copy of exactly what the invite from Zoom shows you which it shows you something like this. It's a lot of numbers, a lot of that, a lot of this. I embedded my link at the bottom, so it's just the one click. Also, teachers, make sure you embed your password with your link. I've also been hearing there's issues with they forgetting to embed passwords with links, but let's say that happens. At any point in time from your invite, you will see a few times in here a meeting ID, and passcode it's right there for you so let's say you try to click that one click zoom and it didn't let you in well go back to your browser like i showed you we're at the profile in the top right corner join a meeting click that join a meeting and it says hey enter the id well go back to your zoom oh there it is the zoom meeting id you can just copy it copy go back paste now, when you click join, it's gonna say enter the password or passcode, which again, it's just right there. Passcode, copy, paste. When I click join, it's gonna take me right there. Why? Because I'm the host of the meeting. So, but anyway, another thing, teachers, I made it kind of simple for my kids also on updates. So I posted that for all of their days on their materials. And then for updates, I showed them daily, hey, class meeting today, I deleted all that excess information, gave them meeting ID, passcode, and then I also uploaded the link too. So there's two links, link there in the actual thread, and then embedded the link in the post as well. I hope this is beneficial. It went way longer than I wanted it to, but I tried to be thorough.